Welcome back to the studio. This is Tony with Earth Inspired and today we're going to start assembling the face. Now in the last video you saw us lay it out. In previous videos we made halos and backgrounds. Today we're actually going to connect the pieces to the background. So I've got the layout pretty much done and now it's just uh, putting the final touches on it and we'll see what we end up with. So here's pretty much the final layout. We kind of at the last minute decided this nose was, um, I don't know, it just isn't what we want. You know, this is kind of pirate themed it seems with the hat. And I come up with this kind of shiny nose here. So you could mount that in there, maybe offset it. But, um, and then the mouth is gonna to come together, either a big giant's toothy smile or even a frowny face, I'm not sure. But, this will be in here somewhere around there, but I'm going to start with mounting the eyes and, um, you know, this, this, I'll show you exactly, you know, the way we mount and how, you know, I drill the holes and I like to use wire. I think I've discussed that before, but I like to wire these things up. So they have a little bit of flex into, you can't really weld with plastic and different kinds of metals and spring steel and rusty and not rusty. So Really the wiring is the best application anyways. So we'll jump in and get started here. All right, so I just gotta mark the eyes here. So once I kinda know where everything's gonna be, Mouth will be in there, we'll fit it to size, but it's important to kind of have your relations kind of right. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I used to spend a lot of time measuring, but I found just looking in the mirror, like <laughs> nobody's perfect, I'm not perfect. I've got some, uh, you know, one ear higher than the other and whatnot, so nature isn't perfect even though we make it out to be or think it is so these guys why are they exactly perfect it's just to me you can get a look and you know if one thing's off but so that's good that's where i want it I'm getting ready to cut that pipe. We're going to say an inch and an eighth. So there's going to be a spring here, which will give me some tension, but it's a really loose spring. So I'll put that nut and bolt on the back, but I'm going to put a piece of copper pipe in there so I can really tighten that nut down and it will, you know, it'll have something to really tighten up against the actual pipe and not just keep cranking this spring down so I was just trying to get that measurement and it's looking like eh. <laughs> my precision ruler here uh, one and an eighth about <laughs> Thank you. 
And again, we're not going to really tighten this down. We don't need to because we want to make sure, you know, get everything. Something is awry. Okay. So, you know, we'll mess with it a little more later. You know, once we go to lock it down to make sure they're, you know, even and, you know, pointing the same way. And we may even need to, like one of those cuts was a little angled. We may need to file that so it's nice and flat. But, you know, that's kind of a, it's, it's in stages. Everything has a stage. So, you know, now the eyes are pre-laid out. And, you know, they've already been laid out, but now they're pre-mounted. And then, you know, as you move forward and keep going, you know, you keep jumping on and finishing little areas and you know at a point it'll be done done but it kind of all has to come together because there might be a slight change you know i can see like um you know it's wanting to push up but like once we actually tighten that down you know that's going to want to straighten up so the fact that it's pointing down isn't an issue because it'll want to once we tighten up it'll want to pull flat so next really is figuring out the nose and um, you know, I keep going back every time. I keep uh, setting the halo back on, make sure everything's still looking good. Make sure, uh, you know, everything is still where we need it to be. The nose is going to go here. And we'll probably make some kind of... I just actually, the other day, found... Um, I don't know if it was a, like a brake hose or a brake line, but it's like a real small, uh, thin tube. And I'll probably use that as the spacer. Same concept. I like everything to have dimensions. So, you know, just got to find a way to mount this thing up in the air. hiccups with mounting the nose but we came up with a pretty clever solution so it's pretty common with this since everyone's so different and everything's you know we're working with a lot of found objects that everything's mounted a little bit differently so let's take a look at this so it's still the same concept I've got this nail going through the hole there's a pin going through the screw hole on the other side or the drilled hole uh, but once I got that together without the springs they were just kind of loose I needed some tension in there pushing upward to um, keep it you know sturdy and not going to be like sloppy loose around so all I did was uh, added the springs I had to redrill the hole on the back side you can see I've uh, taken the angle grinder and cut the uh, nail off but I've have a hole there drilled and this little wire going through and that's kind of like a pin holding that in without the spring there there was no tension so it would, they were real uh, loose and sloppy. All right, that's all the time we have for today. You can see we've made some real progress. We've come up with some good, clean mounting solutions. Um, next up, I think we're going to... Uh, I'll probably work on this some uh, in between the next video. We'll see uh, how far I get. And I might even change out the halo. I mean, we're a little off center here in a way. I wanted to keep it lined up with the uh, 
the vertical lines there. So we may cut this off and who knows what we'll get into. But thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.